Advocates in Central Florida are telling me that the homeless problem is getting worse and that the new laws like the one that Florida just passed are only going to increase suffering. What I want the general public to understand is that there are people experiencing homelessness that could be their grandmother, could be their sister, their brother, it could be their, their, their sons or daughters, it, uh, it could be anyone. Eric Camarillo runs a nonprofit mobile drop-in center for people experiencing homelessness. Camarillo says he doesn't agree with penalizing people when they're at their most vulnerable. He's encouraging people to come to a rally here at the federal courthouse in downtown Orlando at 11 a.m. tomorrow morning. Governor Ron DeSantis signed a bill in March to ban public sleeping in the state, but promises expanded resources. Today I'm signing HB 1365. It will help maintain and ensure that Florida streets uh, are clean and that Florida streets are safe for our residents. The new law takes effect October 1st. Starting next year, it would allow people and businesses to sue local governments that don't uphold the ban. Cities would also have to set up designated areas for homeless to camp, complete with bathrooms, showers, and some services once local shelters are full. People living there are banned from using alcohol or illegal drugs. Critics of the Florida law said it doesn't do anything to address homelessness, but instead just wants to hide them from public view. What should people know about this Supreme Court decision? This decision could result in innocent people being arrested for just experiencing homelessness, for, for sleeping on the sidewalk. No one wants to sleep on the sidewalk. The homelessness issue is the first item on the SCOTUS agenda tomorrow morning. Reporting in downtown Orlando, Laverne McGee getting results, News 6.